Hey everyone, it is time to find that three pointer. Uh, like you have that ball in your hand. Football, <laughs> it's all the guys tackling each other. Football, football. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. Tennis, we swing twice. So the dominant hand will swing towards your non-dominant hand and then back towards your dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, you're just going to mirror me. Yeah, tennis. Soccer. And this is also the sign for kick. So if you're going to kick someone, i got to kick you in the head. Um, kick. Uh, this is kind of like kicking a ball. So kicking the ball. Hockey. Um, we kind of take our ice skate and... I guess that that would be the, I don't even know what it's called. What is the stick? The stick in the puck? I don't know. The, But yeah, you're, <laughs> you're swiping the stick. Uh, skiing. You just kind of go side to side like you're going down a slope, holding the, the poles. Golf. Golf. Very nice. Swimming. The sign for swimming. Volleyball. So volleyball is similar to the sign for basketball, but basketball, you have a curved hand and you like, you're throwing it, where volleyball, you're just like hitting, hitting. So it's kind of close to the sign for like Sunday or worship, um, but in context, it would probably mean volleyball, <laughs> the context of the sentence. So volleyball, fishing, you pretend like you just caught a big fish, whoa. Uh, dominant, dominant hand on the bottom, whoa boxing or fighting all right so we just learned 12 sports i'm going to quiz you see how well you do here we go baseball mm -hmm. basketball excellent skiing mm -hmm. golf swimming Volleyball, boxing or fighting, fishing, soccer. To me, this was the only tricky one. I mean, I guess it could all be tricky, but the only one that's not like quite like everything else, but it's a sign for kick. Hockey, hockey, uh, football football and tennis very very nice all right um learning some more uh roller skating uh doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, i'm sorry it goes forward and backwards and it kind of represents the two wheels of the roller skates going back and forth so you could be roller skating maybe doing some fancy moves that figure eight thing they do um roller skating ice skating uh, you make the hooks for the, the the tip of the ice skate, and then it's the same thing. Ice skate. Bowling. Um, I'm sitting in a chair, but if you're standing, you kind of just, like you're bowling. Archery. Yeah, so archery, the dominant hand pulls the bow back. The dominant hand comes back. Yeah. Um, wrestling. So these are the people and they're wrestling back and forth. So football comes together in tackles, like to fight or box is here. And then wrestling goes back and forth, like wrestling. Oh, hello, little Gracies. Welcome to our sign language class. The Gracies are my nieces, uh, Vanessa Grace and <laughs> little Julia Grace. They're both so precious to me. Uh, game or challenge. So these are the two teams and they come together. They come together, game or challenge. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Um, competition, rivalry, a race. Basically you have like two, these are two individuals going back and forth. Like, oh, we're racing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see who wins to race. Game or challenge, show me that sign. Game or challenge. Oh, we're going to play a game. Uh, let's race each other. Let's have a competition. Yeah. 
horseback riding. Uh, this is similar to ride. Um, we learned that if you're riding in a car, your, your legs are sitting on the seat. So that's to ride in a vehicle or a train or a Ferris wheel. Um, but if you're riding an animal, it's like this. Um, and if you're horseback riding, dun, 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 dun. ticket. Uh, if you're going to, say you're going to a, um, a race and you're going to be part of like the audience, like the crowd, um, you probably will need a ticket. Uh, ticket is basically, we're hole punching punching the side of our hand. This was the sign for like pamphlet, magazine. Um, so you're you're just hole punching that that pamphlet, that ticket. Um, the sign for the Olympics, Olympics. So you make that ring and then you take it to the side. Um, so it starts kind of in front of you and then goes to the right. Olympics. The Olympics is a large game. Um, you'll need a ticket to get in. To win, you get or hold, you hold the victory or celebration. Um, so that's to win, win. This is celebration or victory. Um, this is a sign for hold, hold. So to hold that victory is to win. To lose or fail, you're falling off. <laughs> oh, lose or fail. Um, I've also seen it like this, where the hand just like falls off. <sighs> to play recreation, it's the Y hands, and they just go back and forth. Oh, we're going to play. We're going to play a game. Let's play a game. Let's just play. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Party. We take the, the letter P's and we put them back and forth, kind of like they're dancing. So we're having a party. Let's have a party. Let's have fun. Let's play. Let's not work. <laughs> fun. Fun. Taps your, so this is funny. If something is funny, that's funny. Um, it's kind of like your nose is wrinkling up. Funny. Fun. Fun. So you're taking that funny and putting it down. That's fun. Um, are games fun, you think? You think games are fun? Yes? No? <laughs> um, fun. When we're talking about a ball in sport, we just show the ball with our hands. So ball. Throw or toss? Throw or toss. Ping pong or table tennis is like the sign for regular tennis, only it's only a backhand. <laughs> table tennis. <laughs> yeah. A uh, board game. Hmm. <laughs> this isn't right, but I would probably go like <laughs> board game. Uh, this is a sign for board. I know it's a different, uh, different meaning, um, but I <laughs> probably say board game. Um, but that's probably not right. Um, that's probably wrong. Let's see, board game. I don't know, maybe like paper game, um, the sign for paper, board. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'll look into that for you. Uh, playing cards, you take the three hand and you're just dealing cards out, <sighs> playing cards. Theater. This is drama, act, person, actor, show. Uh, this is like one of those words that means so many things. So in context, um, it's really important for you to kind of pay attention to what's happening. But drama, act, perform, play, show. Um, so if it's an actor, actress, play, person. Actor, actress. If it's a theater, you're saying show, house, show, building. This is the show building as a theater. The actual stage, um, we take the S hand and we glide it across from wrist to fingertip, stage. Stage, a life is a stage. Um, we have to practice a lot if you want to be an actor or actress. You have to practice a lot 
maybe on a stage. Movie, a non-dominant hand, a dominant hand comes and moves. Um, and this kind of shows the, the flicker of the camera. Um, cinema, film, um, so this is like the, the frames going by. <laughs> to dance, we have, the, we have that stage, and then we swing the person back and forth. So to dance, dance. So dancer, if someone was going to a royal ball, this would be the sign for a ball too. This is ball, like a physical ball, and this is like a dancing ball. Billiards, pool, um, yeah. Camp, uh, tent, the sign for tent, two fingers, just showing the angle of a, a, a tent that is pitched. Um, if you're camping, you show several. So like, if there's a camp, there's lots of tents. Um, yeah, canoeing. Sometimes if you go on a camping trip, a camping trip, you might canoe, canoeing. Canoe in a small boat. Small boat. Yesterday we learned the sign for ship. This is the sail. It's a little larger and fancier. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Oh, hi, Lena. Glad you're enjoying. Um, so the sign for rowing, it's like you're rowing a boat. So a small boat you would need to row that boat. Sometimes on a camping trip, trip, you might climb, you might climb. Maybe you're a climber. If you're a climber, yeah. Gun, shoot, rifle, just the, the sign, like you're holding a gun. Jogging, just kind of swing your arms like you're jogging in place. Bicycle. Have you seen those bicycles where people pedal with their hands? I think those are so funny. They're, they're kind of in a reclined position and they're like this. Uh, so this is a sign for bicycle. Uh, we learned yesterday this was a sign for car, motorcycle. Yeah, bicycle, car, motorcycle. Um, similar to ball is a sign for balloon. Balloon. This is a sign for group or class, um, like a group of people in assembly. Um, but if it's by your mouth, you're showing that you're blowing it up. So that's a balloon, the sign for balloon. Awesome. If you want to be a dancer, you need rhythm. Rhythm is the R, R finger swinging back and forth, rhythm. Now, remember, if we um, shake it back and forth, that's the sign for restroom. Um, also, I've seen people hit it twice, restroom, restroom. So rhythm swings. There's a swingy nature to rhythm. Rhythm. If you want to sing, music, hymn, melody, song. So this is like a, an all-encompass word. That means music, uh, music, sing, song. Yeah, melody. Guitar. You just pretend like you play. So the dominant hand goes up and down. Non-dominant hand pretends you're um, hitting the chords on the frets. Drums, you just pretend you have sticks. So jogging, drums, it kind of depends on the context you're talking about and your facial expressions, what you're doing. You know, so drums, um, piano, piano is both hands, like you're playing a piano. Do you remember what this sign is? If it's just one hand, this is the sign for alphabet or to finger spell which basically means to spell it out with sign language, with the alphabet. So alphabet, finger spell, piano. You see the difference? Yes? No? I hope you do. Violin, the dominant hand goes back and forth, and the non-dominant hand pretends you're holding the violin. So violin, we're playing beautiful music. Beautiful, beautiful music on the violin. A xylophone, ding, 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 ding. It's kind of like the drums, um, but the hands are turned in a little bit. It's a very, very similar sign. 
It's very similar. Harp, trombone, non-dominant hand stays by the mouth. The dominant hand moves up, down, and back. Boom, boom, trombone. Magic, if you want to make magic. You're holding something and you make something appear, magic. This is a sign for art, design, or draw. Art, design, or draw, that pinky. If you're painting, I, um, I just learned this. Um, painting, you go back and forth with your hands. So if you're a painter, specifically of an artist, painter. Poetry, it's, um, it's kind of like writing, but you swing it back and forth with the P hand. So poetry, poetry. And that's kind of cool because it's like music or song, but it has kind of that poetry nature to it. And the last sign for today is doll. Um, so those are dolls that like open and close their eyes. <laughs> nice. Let's review um, the sports, recreation, and hobbies. Uh, here we go. The sign for baseball. Actually, we reviewed some of those. So let me go to another batch that we haven't reviewed yet. Um, let's go to ticket. The sign for ticket. Yeah, Olympic, Olympics, the rings, yeah. The sign for relationship, back and forth, linked back and forth. This is a sign for cooperation, um, like teamwork. You're showing it, yeah, it takes a lot of people working together. Relationship is here, um, Olympics, Olympics. To win, hmm gonna get that <laughs> you're gonna get the gold medal and swing it above your head um, uh, baseball <sighs> baseball swings swing that bat uh, the word for play <laughs> draw Jump. hey well this concludes 20 at 2 thank you so much I am using the book signing illustrated by um, Mickey Floden it's an incredible resource, um, beautiful pictures, great descriptions, um, thousands of words. Um, so if, so yeah, if you want to have a, just a reference, I highly recommend this. This is like maybe the fourth edition or so, um, but we are almost done. Probably by the end of this week, we will be done with learning every sign in this book. I just want to say congratulations as always. Um, the, all the lessons are on YouTube. So if you missed a lesson, um, just click the, click the link in my bio and it'll take you to my YouTube channel where all of these lessons are posted, usually about an hour after class. Um, have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow, Thursday, for another 20 at 2. Bye.